Women's organization world, PAW, wonder why he don't take a stand. And then when it got to once saved, always saved, some churches believe in once saved, always saved, and others believe in repentance. And the church split. And the bishop wouldn't take a stand. He said, well, they had a meeting. And the bishop, presiding bishop said, well, those who want to believe and want to say, you go ahead. And those who want to believe and repent, y'all go ahead. And let's try to get along. Amen. Now, you know I had to leave away from that message. Right. I had to leave away from that message. God ain't never called no bishop to be a sissy. Right. Never did. Right. Hallelujah. Right. Praise God. But they so interested in getting the crowd in yes. so that they can have as many as the Baptist Preach, church down the street. They forget about the all of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I don't teach for men. Yes. I don't teach for, for no personal accolade. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I preach because God called me to preach the word. Yes. And he's Sunday with me. Yes. He'll me a five heart attack yes. and never die. High blood pressure. Sugar diabetes. Yes. Hallelujah. Medication to this place. 76 years old. Hallelujah. Don't tell me what God can't do. Hemorrhage. Praise God for 11 and a half years. Hemorrhage. Praise God. And God healed me in a bathtub one day. Don't you know I ain't going back on Jesus? Hallelujah. I know he's real. I know the word is real. Hallelujah. I want you to be convinced, church. I, you hear me. The time will come. I may not be with you always, but I left you a legacy to understand one thing. This Bible is real. Don't let nobody come and try to compromise the word of God with you. Jesus gave a teaching over in Revelation, the last chapter and the last few verses. He said, if you add on or take away, I'll take your name out of the book of God. Now, who was he talking to? Once saved. Yeah. He said, I'll take your name out. out. How can you be once saved if you was once in and God said, I'll take it out? Yeah. Yeah. You better give me Revelation 22. Yeah. Let, let, let me cut right into verse 12 here. Amen. And I'm going to come back to 2 Timothy. I want to clear up verse 5. Y'all yeah, pray with me a little while now. Amen. Amen. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. I'm coming quickly, and I'm going to give each man according to his work shall be. Now, how can a person believe in once saved and get around this scripture? Now, watch, Coach, read. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. First and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments. That they may have right to the tree of life. Blessed are they who what? Do his commandments. Yeah. Well, what about those who don't do his commandments? Amen. They ain't got no right to the tree of life. Yeah. Is that what the word say? Right. Blessed are they who do his commandments. Or keep his instruction. Yes. Yeah. Well, what about those who don't wear head cover? What about those who paint their face? Yeah. What about those who wear the jewelry? What about those who divorce and remarry? All right. Yeah. For without our dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. Oh, whosoever loveth making a lie. Uh huh. Uh, 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 Merry Christmas. <laughs> you got your tree yet? <laughs> <laughs> Happy Easter. Did you get the kids' Easter egg basket? Where, where's all that Bible? Amen. Amen. Research tell me I come from the Babylonian religion. Yeah. Yeah. The goddess Ishtar, that's where the word Easter come from. Yeah. Yeah. She was a goddess of fertility, yeah. and on the high festival day, they exchange an egg. Yeah. Roman Catholic Church called that the Easter egg. Yes. And they do it right today. Yeah. That's why I say you better be careful of the church you go to. Amen. All these hypocrite churches that they got out here, they are not representative of God. Yes. And if the blind lead the blind, they both shall stumble. Yes. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the church. Uh -huh. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. Verse 19. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, any man take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life. Now, you can't take your part out if it ain't already been in. Huh? If I go to the icebox and want a glass of milk, 
If there ain't no milk in the icebox, I can't get no milk. Yes. 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 God said, I'll take your name out. He can't take the name out if it hasn't already been put in. Yes. So that destroys once saved, always saved. Yes. Now, give me right back to 2 Timothy. Yes. Chapter 2, verse 5. Watch close now. Yes. Important. And, and if a man also strive for masteries, yet is he not crowned except he strive lawfully. He's got to do it the Bible way or he's not striving lawfully. Yes. This is why I've said don't ever go to a church mm -hmm. where the Bible is being compromised. Amen. And the, the, the very favorite terminology they use, mm -hmm. well, that's not important mm -hmm. in today's church. Mm -hmm. We are saved under grace. Mm -hmm. Give me Romans 6 chapter. Yes. Grace, yeah. grace is a time period that God gives the New Testament church to repent. Grace means as long as you're in the dispensation of grace, you can mess up. But if you say, I'm sorry, from your heart, God says, I forgive you. Yes. I don't care what you've done. Yes. As long as it comes from your heart. Amen. It can't come from the con now. Yes. So God, we're ahead of the con game. Yes. So don't misinterpret God's love is from everlasting, everlasting. Free. It is from everlasting, everlasting. Yeah. But God ain't never said he's a fool for everlasting. Yeah. Never said that. Him, what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Shall we continue in sin where grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Is that what he said? Mm -hmm. How once I've been baptized in Jesus' name, that means I've been buried. Is that right? Mm -hmm. To rise to walk in a brand new life. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are new. So that dead man of sin, he's gone. So how can I, once I'm saved, go back to that dead life again? Give me the sixth verse. Chapter six, verse six. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. Uh, not, not serve sin. So, so therefore, when I get converted, Something I got to do. Amen. I can't go back to a sinful life. Yes. Well, everybody's sin. Yes. Before you got converted, Amen. everybody's sin. Amen. None righteous but one. Amen. Before you got converted. Amen. But after I get converted, Christ's spirit comes to indwell in me. And you already said, I won't dwell in an unclean temple. Amen. Huh? Amen. If you defile this body, Hallelujah. Him shall God destroy. So then I'm obligated once I'm converted to live a converted life. God ain't never blessed a hypocrite. Read. For he that is dead is free from sin. Now if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. Uh -huh. Knowing that Christ being raised from the dead died no more, death had no more dominion over him. Alright, All right, verse 12. Let not, let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body. Let not sin therefore rule in your living body in this yes. context, that you should what? Obey it in the lust thereof. Uh -huh. Neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, uh -huh. but yield yourselves unto God. Verse 14. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. Wait here. But sin shall not have control over you Amen. because you under grace now. Yes. You're not under the law, Amen. but still sin can't have no control over you. Amen. Next verse. What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law? What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law? But under grace. God forbid. God forbid. Amen. Church, we've been taught for many years, yes. lies and half truth. Amen. I'm here to tell you the truth Hallelujah. of God's word. Amen. This is why I try to tell you everybody ain't gonna like the truth. Amen. Because the truth don't always taste That's good. Right. Amen. Truth don't always make you shout. That's why we Hallelujah. shout before the message comes. Get, get your shout in before the message. Get it before the message comes. Because sometimes the message will make you say, Ouch. Hallelujah. When I first come into holiness, 
And my pastor, he talked pretty hard. Amen. I 